Hello guys, I'm Kami Cornercracks. I play softball at Ohio State. And today we're gonna take a look inside of the inequality sports media has between covering men's sports and female sports. So stay tuned. For years, women have been fighting for equality, not just in sports, but also in the coverage of sports. So let's take a look inside. Being an athlete at Ohio State, I've been able to build connections with a variety of athletes in different sports, both on men's teams and women's team. So I decided to ask them the question of, out of 100%, what percent do you think ESPN dedicated to female sports from the study that was conducted in 2014? And here's what the men had to say. Okay, starting off on the basketball team here at Ohio State, we have Zed Key, and he guessed that the number was 25%. Next athlete, we have Malachi Branham, who was the rookie of the year in the NBA. Had an amazing season, was Big Ten freshman of the year, last year when he was here, and he guessed that it was 21%. Cameron Babb, two-year captain on the football team, was the Blocko Jersey Award um, wearer for this year, and he guessed that that number was 28%. Jalen Pace, who is Orlando Pace, who played in the NFL and played football at Ohio State as well, his son, Jalen, he guessed that the number was 16%, which was the lowest from any man athlete. So he guessed 16%. Next is Jake Miller, who's a standout for baseball. He's a pitcher in the area, and he got drafted straight out of high school to the Miami Marlins for baseball, and he guessed that it was 21%. Blaze Jordan, a standout in baseball as well. He plays in the Red Sox organization. He guessed that it was 32%. Nick Felden, who wrestles here at Ohio State. He's dealing with injury right now and was out last season, but was Richard in any way. Um, however, he was ranked fifth. He competed for USA and got fifth in the entire world for wrestling. And he guessed that that number was 17%. Jace Middleton, who was a pitcher at Ohio State for his first year, but because of coaching changes and some things going on, he's now deciding to walk onto the football team this next coming season. And he guessed that it was also 17%. So the same as Nick, he guessed that it was 17%. All right, lastly, we have Dallin Hayden, who's a freshman running back. And he actually, from this game right here in Maryland, I mean, he's here at Ohio State, and from this game in Maryland, he got freshman, Big Ten freshman of the week. Uh, so stand out there, and he guessed 50%, which was the highest percentage anyone had guessed by a long shot. But he guessed 50%, so he thought it was even, men and women even. Okay, so after conducting research and asking all these male athletes what they thought, I asked nine of them, and the average came out to 25.2% was the average for a man. And the lowest answer was 16%, and the highest answer was 50%. So now let's take a look. I asked a lot of my teammates, um, female athletes, I asked my teammates what, where their head was at and I asked them the same exact question. I said, what percent out of 100 do you think ESPN dedicated to women athletes? And this is what they had to say. 5%. 5 5%. 8%. 7%. 9%. Uh, like two. I think the coverage number in percent is 4%. After asking all those female athletes that you just heard from, their thoughts and their first instinct, the number that they would guess, on average, they all said, combined from their answers, it was 4.917%. So that was a huge gap between the what the male athletes thought versus the female athletes. Once again, the male athletes on average, their answer is there was nine of the male athletes, nine female athletes, and on average, the men thought that it was about 25.2%, and the females thought it was about 4.917%. So why is that? That's because female athletes, as athletes, we look for those type of things. We look to see when we're represented, how long we're represented for, how hard it is for us to be represented, because like we said, we feel as if it's 4.917%. And as crazy as it seems, from class to semester, we did research and the study from 2014 showed that it was 2%. 2% airtime for women on ESPN. How? That's, that's insane to think about. So even though our number is so low, it's higher. We thought it was higher than 
what we actually do get. So it's crazy to think about that. But people, like men athletes, they don't really see as much. All their numbers, they guess so. They guessed, their guesses were still extremely low. 17%, 16%. I mean, there's one outlier with the 50%, but that was an outlier. But I think it was 50-50 in a perfect world, I guess. But um, most, I mean, and everyone else's answer, you can see how male athletes and female athletes feel that the coverage is dominated by men sports and male athletes because it is dominated by male sports and male athletes. That's what we see all the time when you turn on TV. And it's frustrating because we've talked about in class, the participation for female sports has nothing but increased and skyrocketed through the years. But that's not the coverage that you see when you click on the TV. You don't see it, but that's what it is. A lot of people think that maybe the ratings won't go. But in studies you've seen for NCAA basketball tournament and even college world series for softball compared to baseball, softball got more viewing last year than the baseball did. But people don't talk about that. So the interest is there. It just is the production willing to change what it's been doing for years and even it out. So it was very interesting to hear from both male athletes and female athletes and just see how different both viewpoints were. So the highest on the female side was 9%. That was the highest guess that we got out of nine athletes. One female thought that it was 9%, which is lower than any male had guessed. So the highest male female guess was lower than every single male guess. But that's because we see it and we're affected and something's gotta change. So something's gotta change because we are putting in, female athletes putting, putting all the same time, make all the same sacrifices and dedication that male athletes do when you turn on the TV, you don't see it. And unfortunately in this series, I didn't even get to investigate and talk to the athletes about the differences that come with covering just how, when females are put on television or magazines or they do get covered and things like that. It's so much different than when a male athlete is. Like we talked about in class, one of my favorite issues was comparing how Sports Illustrated uh, they cover the, how the cover if a female's on there versus a male both athletes the male sitting there He's in his uniform. He's you can tell what sport he is. You can tell he's there for a sport Typically it's talking about statistics Then a female will be featured on Sports Illustrated. Oh, but they're barely not only are they not wearing a uniform But they're barely wearing any clothing showing off their body have hair makeup like full all, all done you, you would look at these magazines and you wouldn't even be able to tell it was an athlete they use that coverage not because of an athlete, but because it's a woman. And that's what they want you to see rather than a female athlete. You, people like that just want you to see the magazine and see it's a female, which is also outrageous. So I bet the numbers that show the coverage, I bet they don't even know the logistics behind that and how different the coverage is between those two. So it's very disheartening as a female athlete that does think it should be equal because I see firsthand and I live and experience all the sacrifices, time, that female athletes put in and I see it through all these female athletes I've seen in my life. And so hopefully sometime it'll it'll change and people start stepping up and you'll start seeing, you start turning on TV and they're around ESPN, not ESPN plus, not ESPN two, three, but on ESPN you'll see more female sports. It'll be more common because the interest is there and the participation is there. Females are participating in sports. They are interested in sports just a matter of fact of letting everyone know hey doing big things so all right now i have a special guest on our show reagan milliken on the ohio state softball team so reagan thanks for joining us today on quarter cracks 15 by 15. so when i asked you the question earlier as seen in the clips you guessed that it was two percent what made you think that women were only covering espn two percent of the time well, speaking from personal experience, because we play softball at Ohio State, I just know that um, our games are rarely ever televised. And whenever they are, it's, you know, Big Ten Plus, ESPN Plus, and it's never just like the mainstream channel. And so that's like kind of where the 2% was coming from, just because I know for our games, it's not ever usually televised. And when it is, it's not just on ESPN. 
and I feel like whenever I go on ESPN, it's always baseball, uh, men's basketball, or um, football, college football, like NFL. Just, I never, I feel like I never turn it on and see a woman's team or a sport. Yes. Yeah, so last year when we played Michigan at Michigan, we uh, one of our games was actually on ESPN two. So not even the main one, but it was on ESPN2. And, like, talk about a little bit about the emotions people felt just knowing that it was on ESPN2. Yeah, people were really excited um, about that. We're both sophomores, so that was, like, being freshmen, that was, like, crazy and very exciting just knowing that, like, people could turn on their TV and, like, see our game on ESPN2. Like, anyone could have seen that, so that was very exciting. Yeah, like, I remember personally sitting in the sitting in restaurants and I, people were sending me pictures after the game of like our games on restaurant and some of the restaurants and I was like what the heck like that's so cool but then I think about it and I'm in restaurants all the time and I see college baseball on the TVs 24-7 college men's basketball on the TVs 24-7 we are college athletes too but because we're women we're softball it's not like it's not on ESPN as much and it's extremely frustrating because we have all this we have 20 hour weeks too and we're putting all those hard intense workouts too but you're not gonna open up your TV, flip it right on, and bam, it's not gonna be Ohio State softball. But you'll see Ohio State baseball, yeah. you'll see men's basketball, and you better believe you'll see the football team on there. Yeah. Um, but that's not even a battle we wanna start <laughs> because that is one that's just too far. But obviously we support our men's teams, but it's just, it's just a little frustrating. And then like, obviously you'll make great plays or there'll be these amazing things that happen and I mean, you'll be lucky to see who sees it. If it's on the team footage, ESPN Plus yeah. maybe. like The team film that yes. we get that our coaches put up. Yes, I was sitting watching ESPN. I was watching our baseball team just had a clip on ESPN top three plays. Yeah. And no offense to him, but that play I thought was just like, he just, it was his second baseman. He caught a ball. He like, caught a ball over his head. I was like, are you kidding me right now? That made top three ESPN. Yeah. Do you know how many plays have been made in our season alone yeah. this year that I've just outnumbered that? Mm -hmm. And we, what, we, yeah. ESPN, no. Because no. they don't even know because they, they're, they're not even. No one's out there tagging, it. posting it, yeah. posting it, seeing it. No one's doing that. And I had a play earlier this season that it got some feed and everything but it ended up on women's ESPN and I was like why does there have to be two yeah. different categories that's something else you don't understand why do you have to yeah. make a whole nother section just for women why can't it just be on the ESPN account yeah why is there two separate like we're like it should just be the same we work just as hard as them we all have practice lift you know we do all the same things but for some reason there's like such a separation and divide between the two. Yeah, and I think them creating the ESPN women's account, I think that even shows that ESPN, what everyone knows and hears and sees, that ESPN is men. It's for the men all the time. Yeah. And I think it just shows it. I think it makes it worse. Yeah, I do too, because why? if you advertise women as much as you do men on ESPN, you wouldn't have to have ESPN women. And it's just frustrating. And a lot of people are like, oh, that's great. It gets more feedback for women. And it does get feedback for men. And we do appreciate that. Any type of feedback, media, coverage, yeah. all that. But at the end of the day, why do you have to have a separate one? Why can't it just make it on the ESPN? Who knows? But hopefully one day, you know, it'll someone will figure it out. So, Reagan, thank you so much for joining and thank speaking you. on the issue. Thank I really enjoyed having you. Thank you. And good luck this season, kiddo. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Thank you. So, there you have it, guys. You got to hear from a variety of male athletes and female athletes and a special inside look with one female athlete and just picking her brain a little bit about how she really feels about the results that we have discovered and learned about in class because we knew the difference. We studied that in class and the, during the semester, that the article that we had to read in our module is 2% from ESPN in 2004, 14. So, uh, and... Uh, a lot of people don't know that. And it was really interesting to talk about it and talk about why female athletes knew that the number was so low and male athletes know that the number is way lower than theirs based on the results. They just don't know how low it is. And I talked to Malachi, was one of the, my closest friends on that list that I was talking to about the show and the study and everything. And he talked, he just sent back, he's like, that's mind blowing. I was like, it is, it is mind blowing in one word. So thanks for joining us today. And I hope to see you guys next time on 15, 515 and I'm Kimmy Quarter Cracks signing out.